Today in Hypixel Skyblog, I'm gonna be showing you the best money making methods that you can do in the rift and transfer it outside the rift and make a ton of coins. And for these strategies, you don't need to be super OP in the rift to do good, which is the perfect way to go. And one of the strategies makes nearly 20 million coins an hour and it is so easy. The first strategy is getting Catechus stem. And if you don't know, you farm it upside down and this might be a really good money making method and on top of that it's really easy. And I noticed that if you run a big circle I think that's the most efficient way because it regrows and then you can just keep running that same circle over and over again. And there we go an hour has been completed and as you can see we have quite a bit of stems so let's see how many of these we're gonna be able to craft one two and we have still some left over but two of them is pretty good so now we want to take it to the yeah transfer but the time has come now to go ahead and transfer it out and see well how much money are we gonna get out of this and here we are boop boop and it looks like the lowest price right now is about 6.97 million so i guess we'll list them up for these prices but that's actually a pretty decent amount of money to be getting um, in just one hour. This of course brings the total to 13.8 million coins. Okay, the next pot we're gonna try out is gonna be a little bit unusual. We're gonna do it right here by the cowboy in the plaza where we're gonna talk to cowboy Nick and it's gonna get us a patch. Now patch is gonna be doing the farming for ourselves. So we wanna just get him over to the carrots. Uh, if he would jump there nicely, hello, please. Like, come on, bro. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, go go the right direction, please. There we go. So now once he's there, uh, as you can see, he's farming for us carrots, which are the half-eaten carrots. And out of that, we're gonna be able to make exportable carrots. And all we would need is two nearly whole carrots, uh, scribe crux and vault crux. And as you can see, a stack goes for about 500,000. But let's go ahead and turn on the timer and see, well, how many carrots are we going to be able to get and how many exportable carrots can we make in this time? So let's call in the patch. And by the way, later we would be able to actually craft a tool that gets the patch around a little bit easier. I'm not sure if it's because I'm like kind of laggy here, but like, as you can see, he just, just does not go the way I want him to go but anyways let's go let's turn on the timer here we go this by far had to be the most annoying one because the other ones that I'll reveal are way more easy but the the rabbit has a mind of its own but anyways we just finished doing it for 10 minutes and I want to see well how many enchanted um those carrots can we make out of it so let's see how many we got we got quite a few stacks which is obviously good and let's go ahead and craft it so we got 10 of these and now we also need a couple of more things like i said we need the shrub and vault uh but the vaults are very easy as well to kill i think probably they're right here what you want to do with the vaults is avoid them at first like you can literally just run away from them and then just kill it let me oh i didn't get blue chair but uh look at this we could just go ahead get it down low then we run away and then we go off to the next one kill it down low and then we ca later come back and kill it when it's done with the thunder strikes because obviously like the thunder one it's it's pretty like easy to do but it's just like they're so loud it's just like i can't be bothered <laughs> Okay, well that went extremely quick. I think it took me like two minutes to get it and I think we have five of them which should be enough So let's go ahead and craft it and we're gonna be Wait, do I not have the recipe for it? Really? I'm missing to literally just a few to craft it. Okay, give me a sec <laughs> And there we go. We have it unlocked. Let's go ahead and craft it and how many are we gonna get out of here? five stacks okay and here we are let's quickly transfer these bad boys and it's time to find out how much money are we going to be making in like about 12 minutes and it's gonna be 2.3 million i think that would be close to like 10 million an hour which is pretty decent but honestly this grind was the worst and i found one even better method now before we show the best of the best option 
I want to quickly try out this one here as well, which is uh, mining. And uh, to make the pickaxe, it's pretty simple. We would need actually Tactician's murder weapon, uh, wilted Burberries, nullified metal, and then we're going to be able to craft it. Now to get this nullified metal, all you have to do is kill these guys. And this is pretty simple. Uh, you at some point need to break some uh, blocks, as you can see these ones right here. Boom, 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 and we're going to be able to kill it. But here I do have a problem, which is that I simply don't have enough time to be down here. Um, you do need quite a bit of time to enter this area. But anyways, there we go. And we can actually use a uh, leech sword as well, uh, which is nice. And there we go. We got the pickaxe and now we're ready to mine. But to be honest, I'm not doing too good trying to hunt down the snake. Uh, which is obviously R.I.P. But you can actually make some money even down here, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's just not enough time for me to be here. But I'm going to show you another area that's better for like early game. But honestly, the amount of money that it makes is shocking. In this case, we're going to be farming wilted Burberries. And again, yes, farming aka this is just very easy. You don't really have to do anything difficult, which is perfect. And here the tip is to use a smaller area for the farming of it because if you do it in a large area you have to I feel like run longer so you're actually gonna get a little bit less so if you do it in a small area it's perfect plus they do actually respawn really quick which is super convenient when you finish farming all the way. And another thing that you don't want to make them into enchanted actually because the item that we're gonna be crafting is gonna be the Burberry's fuel injector. Okay, and this took us only 14 minutes and 30 seconds, meaning that we could technically make four of them an hour. But anyways, the item of course is right here. We can craft it now. Boom. And uh, by the look of things, it's quite valuable. So of course, it's time for a quick transfer. And here we are. Boop. Let's see how much we can sell it for. And it's going to be a beautiful 4.6 million. Now we can make literally four of them an hour, which would bring the amount to 18 million coins, actually a tiny bit more, 18.4. Now before I explain why the fuel is so amazing and why you should get it down, uh, well, I want to quickly show you guys how to find the perfect items to craft. And it's very simple. You just go into collections, rift collections, and since the collection is very, very small, as you can see, like, if you click here, you can find, for instance, Agarius Cap Cap or Agarius Chomp Chap. Uh, anything that's Rift transferable, it's gonna be worth it. It looks like here, this one, it could be easy money, but doesn't have the biggest value. I mean, just look at these items and just look at the AH, see how they are doing. And if they're going up in price, well, perfect. I think probably the Burberry's fuel injector, it seems like it went up like yesterday, up to like 7 million even or something like that. So sometimes it can boost up in price, meaning that you can make even more money. And well, now we're back on our island and uh, this is where we're going to talk about the Burberry's. All right, this is freaking amazing because it generates enchanted lush Burberries, which means it's it's producing bank. And here's the video where I left it AFK for 24 hours to show you how much money can you be making and is it worth to set it up right now? 